Yo, what's good out there, y'all? It's your boy, House of Jazz, coming at you different this time. Today, I want to talk about Reason 11, all right? So any of you out there that are fans of the Reason software definitely had to have seen the videos of the new version coming out, version 11. I got excited when I found out that they said that they were going to allow us to use the Reason Rack all of our reason instruments effects all that stuff as a vst plugin i was like yo that changes everything i pretty much always use reason sounds on all of my productions either i'm using my uh some some of the sounds from this motif or the sounds are coming from reason so i'm like wait a minute but i don't necessarily love laying my tracks down in the reason software I really love Cubase version 6.5. Yes. For those of you saying, what? That software is like 10 years old. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and I paid a pretty penny for this. But this is what I like to use. Whenever I do production, I love using, interfa uh, using the interface on Cubase version 6. And technically, I have 6.5 because 6.5 was a free update from version 6. So to this day... I edit my audio for my tutorial videos with Cubase. And when y'all see me do my duets and I'm mixing the vocals, when I receive the vocals from the, my singers or whatever, I'm in Cubase 6.5. So my thing was like, yo, I wonder if this will work on this old version of Cubase. Cause this ver I bought that version probably in 2010. Yo guys, check this out. It works. And I'm about to prove it right now. I'm going to prove it to you right now. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm not showing you the Reason 11 software in this. If you would like to see a video of me using that full software, let me know in the comments. But this is specifically about the fact that you don't have to use a rewire. You can use the VS, uh, your Reason instrument rack as a VST instrument. And I'm going to, so what we're going to do, I, I had everything closed out so you can see how quickly I can build up something real quick. So... I'm going to open up Cubase first. Okay. Open up Cubase. I know y'all see that sound come pop up like that thinking this is a crack version, but I just showed you the box. This is real. Ever since Windows updated, I get that. But anyway, all right. So here we go. This is Cubase. I'm going to open up an empty project. All right. So everything's empty. Now, I've only downloaded this software maybe like an hour and a half to two hours ago. And, um... The, after I installed it and it was the immediate update that I had to download and that's it. That's all I did. Everything worked perfectly. So now that I'm in Cubase, I'm going to open up my VST instrument rack over here where I can come over here and select my VST instruments, right? So I go to the first one and then voila, down here, Reason Rack Plugin. Click that. And then I tell Cubase, go ahead on and create that track. You see the Reason 11 logo right there? Reason 11, this is the beta version. Bam, there it is. It works. Now, I'm going to prove that it works because I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to make a real simple track real quick. Please don't judge me on the production. I'm not sitting here trying to actually produce something for real. I just want you to see that it works and it works flawless. By the way, I'm using the Windows PC. This is basically like a gamer PC, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's an i7 processor. So, you, you know, it's, it's it's not a weak computer. So, you know, so make sure if you're out there trying to do production, get some good stuff out there. But anyway, okay. So I'm going to show you how I figured out how to use it and how I think I will use it in the future. You know, this is how I use it. I'm going to go ahead to my Dr. Rex loop player because this is where when you just want to get like a, a quick drum loop, you know, so because you're trying to get something real quick, you come to this and I'm going to go to uh the drums acoustic drums just go to uh where is it yeah studio drums and i'm just going to do that basic two four just a basic loop right so i'm gonna hit on and oh and you know what and i'm also going to set the tempo to about 67. now this song i'm going to do is a song that i my band and i wrote about 20 years ago the song is copyrighted so don't try to steal it is through ASCAP too. You know what I'm saying? It's on our CD from like 20 years ago. But um, I'm just going to do a quick, you know, loop of it real quick. Just a, just a loop. So I click play. And as you can hear, 
Dr. Rex is playing with no problem through the old version of Cubase, version 6.5, no problem, right? So this is how I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna come over here, see my track over here, and I'll just name it drums for now. Again, this I'm not doing a real production or anything right now. This is just to show you that it works. So I'll close that out, right? I'm gonna bring up my Reason. I'm sorry, my VST rack again in Cubase. I'm gonna click number two, and I'm gonna go to Reason rack again, right? Click Create. And now, y'all know I'm a piano player, so I need a piano sound. So like, I'm just gonna go straight here to the ID8. For those of you that's been using Reason, you're familiar with this module. Voila, you know, I've got, I got a piano sound that's good enough for this video. It's good enough for this video. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna call it piano. All right, and the only other, other track I'll do is just a bass track. So I'm gonna open up this window over here and I'm gonna select Reason Rack Plugin one more time. I'm gonna click Create. I'm gonna open up that same ID8, but I'm gonna, instead of using the piano sound, I'm gonna come down and just grab the bass sound. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is not a real track. All right, cool. This is just to show you that it works. So, okay, here I am. So now, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm in Cubase using the Reason Rack as just a VST. This is crazy. This is crazy. So. Uh, I already have my tempo set to 67, so I'll go ahead and record the verse and chorus of this song called Tell Me. From, it was It's by my old band called The Other Side, and it was, I think it was the last song with no CD. But anyway, here we go. And I just messed up because I forgot to select the piano. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to the piano track first and not the bass, okay? Here <laughs> So I'm going to go back to the piano. Let's do that one more time. Two, here we go. We got it now. So there we go. Got the piano track. And so I'm going to go here real quick. And I'm going to record a bass. I forgot to name this bass. So I'll just call this bass so that I'll know what it is. And as you can see, the bass comes up. And we'll just record the bass line real quick just so that you can see it works. Again, don't judge me on my production. No, this is not how I produce a song. This is just how I show you that Reason 11 works on Cubase 6.5.
we're live. Ladies and gentlemen, you got the track right there. And of course, you can just keep, you can use all of the stuff that's on the Reason rack. And it's like you just use it as a VST instrument. But you can record your vocals if you want. Baby, can we talk for a little while? On my mind, I got something heavy. Hoping that you're really ready. Sometimes I don't think you understand The kind of man I am A life I planned of love and happiness Tell me what you want from me Tell me what it's gonna be I promise I'll never leave As long as you are here with me Night's so long they never be just friends baby please just do us right come on over spend the night night Ooh. so ladies and gentlemen i will definitely be upgrading because this benefits me so much when the real version come out by the way this is the beta version i was able to sign up for it and they let me use this for free so as long as this is in beta testing it's coming out soon it's, it's not even going to be that long I, I just can't remember off the top of my head but when it comes out I, i'll probably be purchasing the download day one because this actually is a big deal for me to be able to really just be able to do everything in cubase but use all the instruments that I love and even some uh, some of those plugins I love too to be able to use those and just using a Cubase it, that, that, that's 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 it's a no-brainer for me so hopefully this helped some of you out you know showed you that yes that standalone VST rack yo it, it works and this is an old version of Cubase so um like I said um if you would like to see like the full version of Reason, Reason 11 without Cubase, but just see what Reason 11 looks like, uh, let me know and I'll make a video of it down in the um, comments. And um, if you like the video, thumbs it up. If you don't like it, you already know what to do. Just thumbs it down. You usually don't have to tell people to do that. They just automatically see my face, my big head, and be like, ah, thumbs down. But anyway, all right. <laughs> I'll leave you with that and I'll catch y'all on the next piano tutorial video. Peace.